All right, we are back with another video. Uh, no ideas here, no preparation, uh, but we're gonna talk about money. Um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out what we can talk about when it, um, when it comes to money. You know what? How about we talk about something I haven't talked about? How about scraping by, or in other words, poverty? What a life of poverty could be like for somebody. Um, now, when I say poverty, uh, I'm talking about first world poverty. Um, for example, let's use New York as an example. Um, poverty in New York, what does it look like? Well, you have, um, you got projects, they call them projects uh, in New York or in states. Uh, projects are very run down. I think some of them are like government housing so they're either free or, or, or they're cheap or something like that um, based on your income and everything. You got to remember some of these people are citizens um, and uh, they've been living there for, a, for decades and decades. They may have had money at one point, but regardless of what the situation is, they found themselves in a hard place and they've been approved for government housing. They may even have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine children um, having to live in a two bedroom or, or a three bedroom apartment. So that's, a, that, that's real. Um, we know that a lot of the rap music in the 90s came from the projects, uh, Mob Deep in particular, they were from Queensbridge and um, they always had those buildings in the background, um, which is fine. Um, what else? What else? Well, I well, I'll tell you. I lived. I lived uh, very close to a building that was supposed to be that looked just like the building in, I guess, Hell on Earth, and uh, uh, yeah, I'd say in, in Hell on Earth and even shook ones. Uh, the buildings that they had in the projects. I had a building. It was notorious. It was nearby. Uh, even when I went to Vancouver and I was working in Vancouver, somebody asked me like, you know, what area is your apartment? And I told them said, do you know about such and such? It's actually, it has a nickname. Do you know about such and such building? I was like, yeah, he's like, man, I had friends there when I was younger. Man, that was a bad fucking building, man. A lot of, a lot of screwed up shit went on, uh, went on around there. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, dude, that building is, 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 is really messed up. And, um, you know, I, I live just one block away from it. Uh, luckily, you know, well, I, I kind of lucked out a little bit. Um, I was seeking, uh, I, I, I was looking for a relatively nice apartment in a cheap area. So in an area like that, basically, in like an area where the buildings look like projects, I was looking for an area like that and I was trying to get a decent building. I did get a decent building. Um, yeah, I mean, it was run down. Now this building was run by a very good company and they were owned by a very good company. Now this company had like condos and, and really nice apartment buildings, like top of the line. But in that particular area, they had one building and it was old and a bit run down, but it was the best building they had there. Like it was one of the decent ones, one of the few decent ones. And I managed to get an apartment in there, but I live one block away from that build, uh, the, the, the bad building. And um, it's not what it was called, but I used to walk by there all the time. It was a normal thing, uh, but that, you know, it was, it was pretty ghetto. The point is, uh, you know, Mob Deep, they, you, you, for example, or, or New York, you have, you have ghettos and people live in ghettos and life is very rough. So as far as I know, in the, in the States, they have, we call them uh, food stamps. So if you're on welfare, so you'll get welfare, you can get housing and you get food stamps that uh, I think you get every month or every two weeks or something. And you can take it to the convenience store or the grocery store and you can buy food and drink with it. So they're able to get by, but they don't really have a lot. And, you know, the clothing and the shoes they get, uh, like Mob Deep always talks about when they were younger, they had shitty clothes, torn and worn out baggy clothes and shoes and all that stuff. And now they're, you know, once they became successful, all of a sudden they were like, glorified within the ghetto uh, because they had nice cars and nice clothes and all that stuff. 
Typically, these places um, are very rough and difficult to grow up in. You know, your neighbors uh, are, you know, there's, there's a lot of issues going on with your neighbors. Police is regularly around the buildings. Every now and then there's a homicide, somebody shot or stabbed, dead on the ground. Uh, you've got all kind of illegal activity going on in the buildings. It's disgusting. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, we're in tear, old stuff, just falling apart and all that stuff. So life there is very difficult and you have a lot of people who are poor. So, you know, kids are willing to rob other kids for their food uh, even, or, or their shoes or, or whatnot. It gets really rough uh, in these places, but poverty is to be taken uh, very seriously. I mean, now if you are, you gotta remember when somebody's in poverty, I gotta remember money is hard to come by. Life is very difficult, but you do have your levels of poverty. You know what I mean? You have your guys who are very tough. You know, they can take on anybody. They can rob whoever they want. They can, they, they can, they can um, endorse rappers and put rappers out there. They can sell, they can, they can do illegal activity, make, make money uh, illegally hustling and all that stuff. You know, it's, like, it's all like that, you know? Um, and, and it is what it is. So, you know, I mean, there's, there's really nothing else to say about that, but, um, but, but, but life in poverty is tough, but, but, you know, if you're a shark and even if you're in the hood, you'll, you'll, you'll be just fine. You'll be just fine. Cause if you're a shark, you'll find your way. Nobody likes poverty or, or nobody just, people don't like a difficult life or a life of poverty. You know what I mean? It's, it, it's, it's not cool. It's tough. Um, at the same time, you know, even in your most wealthiest classes, you got, you got a lot of tough areas, you know, believe it or not, I, I think this sounds funny, even in your millionaires and, 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 and your rich people living in luxury, you got some rough, rough areas. I'm serious. You might not believe me. You might be laughing at it. You got rough areas, man. There are dudes, uh, they're rich, but you know, don't be fooled by the amount of money they have. They're gritty, man. You know what I mean? If I throw one of those guys in the hood. And randomly, and he's got to make his way out of there. He's got to walk his way out of there, drive his way out of there. Dude, there's going to be guys who are going to be scared of him because he will literally, he will mop the floor with marks, okay? With marks, marks, you know, marks. There'll be marks on the floor, man. You know what I mean? Don't underestimate, don't think that rich people are just generally weak. There are areas of rich people, uh, uh, there are rich areas that are so tough. I mean, you spit the wrong word, man. Your ass is dead, man. You know, like, like they will really take action, man. They're not joking around. They're cutthroat, man. There are rich people who don't joke around. You, you know what I mean? They, I'm telling you, I take one of those guys, I, I drop them in the hood, and they'll be knocking heads left and right on their way out, banging three or, three, three or four of their, three or four girls on their way out. I, and I'm serious. You know what I mean? Um, uh, but, but I'm not, I'm, this is not a competition level. I'm just letting you know that, you know, we know, we, we, we know about the hood reputation, but we don't know about the rich area reputation. There are some rich dudes, man. You don't want to mess with them, man. You do not want to mess with them. Believe me, they will wreck you. Anyways, that's it for me. I just wanted to talk about the poverty and, and I got into a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a subject matter. And then we moved into the, 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 the that, the rich part and how not to, don't knock anyone and make assumptions. Anyways, I'm done. And uh, that's it.